Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so the first message we have is I'm pretending to be happy. Wow. Okay, I just got confirmation. So for some of you feminines, this will be a confirmation for you. I definitely feel like intuitively, when you look at your person or when you think about your connection, you definitely feel like something is off here, okay? Definitely if you are at a distance from them, you are picking up the fact that something is not as it seems, okay? And I'm definitely picking up that your person is at this place on their personal journey where they're taking inventory of every single thing in their lives as they are ascending as they are really really learning how to tap into their inner compass and allow their heart space to guide them allow their souls to guide them to where it naturally wants to be your person is taking inventory and they're realizing that wow there's a lot of things in my life that really don't make me happy i feel like as they begin to move to the next level of their spiritual journeys, okay, of their personal development, they're realizing that a lot of things that serve them in one stage of their lives are not serving them for where it is that they want to go here. And your person is at this place where they're really realizing that they're pretending, okay? Things that really don't move them, things that really don't move their soul, okay? they're putting a lot of energy or they could have been putting a lot of energy into these things and they're realizing that they're really not paying off because they've outgrown this so what i'm getting is that if this is resonating so far and you're at a distance from your person they are currently at this state where they're beginning to really want to balance okay their internal world and their external world they're realizing that there's heavy imbalance there and as they're beginning to look at the people, places, and things within their proximity, even, you know, places they frequent, um, people that they spend the most time with, things that they pour their energy into at this time, they're realizing that there's a heavy, heavy imbalance. I definitely feel like there's this process of bringing, you know, this spiritual awareness down to the 3D here. And your person is really, really beginning to take inventory and realize that they have to make some changes, okay? So I definitely feel like, because I keep getting confirmation. So Divine Feminine, this may serve as a confirmation for you. You may very well know your person. I'm getting a really, really solid bond where you may have even spoken to your person. You know what it is that they want their lives to look like. I'm getting you know who they are at their core here. You have a really, really solid foundation. Maybe you have talks. Maybe your person has opened up their world to you and expressed to you what type of person they want to be, what type of life they want to lead here. Um, you may have a very sacred um, bond with your person where you have energetic access to them. You can just read them like no other. But this is serving as a confirmation for you because as, as, as you are at a distance from your person, you may be thinking, wow, are they really just satisfied with that? You may feel as if your person is settling in some type of area of their lives, okay? This is general, so um, this may apply in many different facets of their lives here, but they're coming through very open and honest saying, you know what, um, I am pretending to be happy. I definitely feel like they're stretching for this happiness at this stage of their lives here, and they're taking inventory, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is, I'm feeling a little jealous. Wow. I'm actually getting a totally, okay, I'm getting two different messages for this card here, okay? The first one is this. As this masculine is kind of sifting through their emotions and realizing that they really want their external world to match their internal world, I'm getting that divine feminine, this connection, your person really looks at you as a partner, like literally as a life partner. I feel like you have had many, many talks with your person. Um, I feel like 
you are on the same level, okay? Maybe intellectually, maybe you exchange thoughts here. Your person really views you as an equal in that way. And I feel like they're a little bit jealous because as the feminine energy is rising, as you are assuming this position of really going after what it is that your soul desires, okay? You're becoming extremely magnetic. Things are kind of just aligning for you in this sense. And this is because you've taken a more authentic stance in your life, okay? I definitely feel this masculine could be a little bit jealous of that, not in a malicious kind of way, but definitely in a way where you may have started on this journey together. They may have really opened up things to you, things that they want to do in a way that they want to progress here, and they see you moving forward in that way here, okay? But I'm definitely getting that um, specifically this masculine views this feminine as a powerhouse. You are someone that is extremely motivated. You're, it's something about your drive here. I keep getting drive. You're someone who really says what it is that you want to do and you put, you put action behind it, okay? You set intentions and you put action behind it and things come into fruition for you. A very powerful feminine energy that I'm tapping into here. And I feel like your person views you as a partner. They view you as a life partner. Where you started out on your journey, this is something that you were supposed to be doing together here. I'm definitely getting like a teamwork vibe. So I feel like as your person is looking at you from a distance, it's even like, even though you're at a distance from them, they know that your life is continuing to move in the, in the direction of your soul, in the direction of your heart space. I'm tapping into very powerful, feminine energy. They know that when you say something, it's going to get done. They know that whether, you know, they're in connection with you and you guys are exchanging ideas or not, you're still going to be moving forward in your life here. And I feel like this masculine, as they're looking at their lives, they're realizing that there's some things in their path that's kind of um, blocking them in a sense from moving forward as quickly, okay? And they're in this process where they really want to move these things out of the way, like as soon as possible, okay? Because they're realizing that they're, they're kind of pretending to be happy. They're pretending to still enjoy these things that really don't serve them. And they're realizing that it's kind of stifling their progress, okay? So I'm getting like a heavy, like team kind of energy here very powerful masculine energy as well as powerful feminine energy okay and this masculine is at this place where they're realizing you know if i want to have these things if i want to get into proper alignment then as i look around me i need things to be in proper place okay so they're definitely shifting and definitely moving things along here okay now the other energy i'm getting with this is that as you are at a distance from your person they are a little bit jealous as i said this is very powerful feminine energy you're someone i'm getting attractive okay you're someone that has the ability to naturally garner a lot of attention okay i'm getting externally for how you look on the outside and the inside okay something about you just really has this ability to kind of hold people's attention here and as your person is at a distance from you, they're realizing that literally anyone who graces your path is, you know, extremely drawn to you, okay? You add value to anyone that you come in contact with. People can feel your energy. They can feel your light here. So this really has them thinking, wow, as I'm looking around at my life, I have a lot of these things that I need to move out of the way here. Divine Feminine is on a roll. You know, um, Divine Feminine is at this place where things are naturally aligning. You could be meeting people. This could be a very social time where, you know, you're really putting your energy out there and things are coming back to you. And this has your person on edge a little bit here, okay? But I think this is this is in a good way, okay? I think it's, it's helping to bring change into the dynamic, okay? Because your person is kind of looking at your life divine feminine and realizing that there's definitely some changes that you are inspiring them to make here because you're you're living in your truth, okay? You're at a place where if it's not in alignment with your heart space, if it's not in alignment with your soul, with your destiny, with your purpose here, if it's not serving you and making you happy, you really don't have time for it. And your masculine is realizing that they're exerting a lot of energy into places, spaces, people, okay, that really don't serve them. And this is motivating them to really clear their energy. 
this is beautiful, okay? I'm picking up on extremely powerful masculine and feminine energy, okay? Very powerful. Like literally a force when you are together. Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is, I want you more than you know. Yeah, I kept getting confirmation earlier. So I definitely feel like this will serve as some type of confirmation because Divine Feminine, I'm definitely getting that as you are in the separation with your person, as you are in no contact, you may have access to your person visually, you may have mutual friends here, you may even see your person on a daily basis. And because they are assuming this position of pretending to be happy, Okay, um, and I don't even feel like this is something that they're doing intentionally. I definitely feel like this is comfort, okay? But they're realizing that this is becoming extremely uncomfortable to continue to live life in this manner. Um, your person wants you more than you know. Their actions may confuse you. In a sense, you may look at their lives and feel like, wow, they're really happy with um, with settling or you know, with something that you feel is not their best. But they're coming through saying, look, I want you more than you know, okay? So something about your intuition, I definitely feel like intuitively, you know your person's best. Intuitively, you know that they have the tools to create everything that they want to create here. I'm getting extremely powerful energy. This is something that you both may have spoken about here, but I'm getting that the distance may cause you to look at them in a different light here. And they want you to know, it's almost as if they wanna reassure you, like, no, I want you more than you can ever imagine here, okay? It's almost as if their actions, they are aware that their actions on the outside tells a completely different story from what's really emanating from their heart space, okay? So intuitively, I feel like you're extremely connected with your person. Um, you know, like you have access to their heart space, you know what it is that they feel, but their actions confuse you a lot here, okay? But it's almost as if they want you to know that whatever you're feeling intuitively about them, whatever you're feeling from your heart space is actually true, okay? They're, they're confirming this for you, no matter what it looks like on the outside because they're, they're in this process of really clearing that energy and making sure that everything is a match, okay? Externally and internally. That's very important at this stage. I keep getting authenticity, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah, we have nothing is the same without you. Yeah, I'm getting a really really solid kind of bond here, okay? This masculine really views this feminine energy as a match, okay? I don't know what it is that you discussed, but I feel like they feel as if you are their person, you are their life partner. You may have a way of naturally balancing this masculine. You may have a way of really tapping into their heart space and extracting the best the best parts of them, but they definitely feel a vast difference with you not being as connected to them, with you not being as close to them in their energy here. They want you to know that nothing is the same without you, okay? They want you more than you can even imagine, Divine Feminine. And a lot of times I feel like their actions really, really confuse you because this energy that I'm picking up on, you know exactly who this masculine is. They have shown you their power, okay? Because I'm getting extremely powerful masculine energy. You know their power, you know their worth. This is a very reciprocal kind of energy here. But somewhere along the journey, I feel like you continue to move in the direction of your soul and your person was kind of caught up with things in their reality that became comfort, that really was not serving them. And Divine Feminine, you're at this place where although you love your masculine, you know that you have to continue to ascend. It's almost as if you know better and you have to do better, okay? And they're looking at you from this place really of inspiration. It's really making them look at their lives and, and say, wow, you know, I know that I can be doing a lot better. I know 
know that I can be putting my energy into things that really, really serve me and really serve where it is that I want to go. Okay, so this is powerful, powerful energy, but if this is resonating so far, this masculine is coming through letting you know nothing is the same without you, okay? You may very well be looking at your person from the outside in a little bit confused here because I'm getting that this is powerful, like a force. Both of you together are like a force. You have discussed things, okay? Maybe what how you want your relationships to be. This could be career things. This could be personal development here. Um, you both are very, very powerful individuals, okay? And you know that about one another. So your person is letting you know nothing is the same here. And they're really, really taking inventory of anything that is not in alignment with their true high, highest version, okay? Wow, this is beautiful energy. All right, so the next message we have here is, yeah, we have my heart only wants you. Okay, so honestly, I keep getting confirmation, okay? So I'm getting that this reading will serve as confirmation for a divine feminine out there who is really, really confused about what it is your person is doing, okay? You're at a distance for them. You're in this place in your life where you are progressing, where your soul is literally guiding you to where it wants to go right now. I, def I definitely get this energy of you feeling as if you and this masculine made certain intentions for your life here, um, for your path individually and together. And Something about their energy may be confusing you at this time. You may be gen generally um, curious about what it is that they're doing on their journey. If they are still setting out um, with the intentions, with the plans that you both made here. Okay. But I'm definitely getting that your person is coming through wanting you to know that where they stand, their heart only wants you. That has never changed. Okay. They want you more than you know. Something about your intuition is being confirmed, Divine Feminine, because I feel like intuitively you have a very, very solid energetic bond with your person. Um, and it's almost as if you know who your person is deep, deep down in their core, okay? You have a very, very sacred bond with your person, but sometimes their actions or sometimes where you stand in your connection, you feel as if either they should be further along on their journey or you both should be further along on your journey together here. But your person is coming through letting you know their heart only wants you, okay? You have really tapped into a space. I'm getting very, very powerful energies, okay, from both the masculine and the feminine. I definitely feel like the amount of access that you have to this masculine and that they have to you, this is extremely sacred, okay? This is literally a version of yourselves that it seems like you only open up to one another. And I feel like you open up the best parts of each other here. Okay, this is very positive light energy that I'm feeling. And your person is coming through wanting to affirm you in a way to say their heart only wants you. Okay, nobody else has access to that part of them. This is extremely sacred to this masculine, so much so that they're beginning to look around them and realize that anything that stands in the way of them being their highest version, of them having this higher version of love in their life, of, you know, connection, it has to go. They're taking inventory. They're going through a very massive spiritual process here in the 5D, really shifting, recalibrating, creating balance within their lives, within their internal space. And this is coming down to the 3D. So much so that it's making them a little bit uncomfortable. They're coming out acknowledging, look, I'm pretending to be happy, but where I stand, I want real happiness. I want real connection. I want real love. And they want this with you. So even if they're at a distance from you, they want you to know that you have their hearts, Divine Feminine. Nothing has changed about that. They want you more than you can even imagine where they stand right now, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow, this is beautiful. We have our story doesn't end here. Yeah, like I was saying, 
something about this energy here you two are literally a force together i'm picking up on extremely powerful energy this masculine is letting you know this is not the end okay they also don't want you to doubt them this is very powerful i'm getting powerful dominant masculine energy okay who's also intuitive as well who knows that this connection is very very sacred who's at this place where they're taking inventory they know that things are out of alignment here so much so that it's becoming uncomfortable you I, I don't think you understand divine feminine how once you come into this truth it becomes extremely uncomfortable for you to continue to operate in a lie okay and your person is feeling this energy so intensely that they're taking inventory. They're realizing, look, I put way too much energy into this area of my life. Okay, I'm not allocating my time in a way that is conducive for my future. Okay, I set out to live a certain kind of life. They're even looking at you, Divine Feminine, feeling a little bit jealous because they're seeing how the universe is literally in alignment with you how you speak things and they come into fruition, how I'm even getting that you may have a little bit of history where your person may have seen a vast difference from who you were as far as your character, your moral compass, okay? From the beginning of meeting you till now, you have grown, you have blossomed beautifully, Divine Feminine. And where your person stands right now, they're really looking at you as a source of inspiration, Okay, this masculine admires you. They think that you are a powerhouse. They really see you as being powerful feminine energy, okay? And where they stand, this is really motivating them to step into their powerful masculine energy and move forward in the way that is best for their highest, highest version, okay? So this is extremely beautiful energy. Um, if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.